The High Plains and Rolling Plains ecoregions make up what is commonly referred to as the Texas Panhandle. Bordering the states of New Mexico and Oklahoma, these ecoregions cover an area as far south as the cities of Odessa and San Angelo. The eastern edge of the Rolling Plains encompasses the cities of Abilene and Wichita Falls. With wide open vistas of prairies and playa wetlands, the High Plains is one of the most productive and biologically diverse regions of the state. Still, a great diversity of wildlife continues to thrive here. Mule deer, pronghorn antelope, prairie dogs, migratory waterfowl, and grassland dependent species such as the lesser prairie chicken. Eek. It's just, it's just amazing the different things that, that show up here at the park. This is the first time I've run across this particular flower. Pat Bales likes to stop and smell the flowers. Beautiful little flower. And after a spring rain at San Angelo State Park, there's a lot to stop and smell. Yeehaw! You can be riding along, just winding through the flats, all kinds of bushes and flowers and trees around you. And next thing you know, you drop off into a ravine or into a real rocky area. And so. You never know what you're going to see along the way. Whether exploring by foot, bike, or horseback, really visitors are bound to notice the diversity of life here. I'll just kind of hold him up so y'all can see him there. See, hey, flat. We're kind of at the confluence of uh, four ecological zones out here. We have the rolling plains, the high plains, and then the hill country to the east and trans Pegas to the west. And we get a little bit of overlap of flora and fauna of those particular regions in this area, which uh, makes it rather rich uh, as, as far as that plant life and animal life is concerned. Prairie dogs were indigenous to this area at one time, and we actually started a, a colony on the north side and the south side of the park, and, and they seem to be doing quite well. Although it doesn't appear to have hurt wildlife, a long-term drought hasn't been so kind to O.C. Fisher Lake. Yeah, yeah, because it was like, but it has rain. We have the largest set of prehistoric Permian vertebrate animal tracks in the world right here in the park that predate the dinosaurs about 90 million years. All those footprints. Come on, guys. Whether you marvel at prehistoric tracks or leave your own tracks, San Angelo State Park has a lot to discover. Oh, golly, every day is a new adventure out here, and it gets better all the time.